So we have about three minutes until we start. Where well, we are going to have Casper Zola, Malo Genole coming in to action as they are going to be banning it out for the crown for to be the king of Punta Preta. Both of these boys have had 10 point rides. Both of these guys have been ripping since the beginning. We were talking about it. We could see the lines. We could see the pass being formed. And the final that was expected is out there in the water. Out on the gong with the black and green, that is Malo Genole. And with the white and black, that is Casper uh, Zola with the Armstrong. Get ready, get ready, hold on to your hats as we are about to start the final here of the competition. Get yourselves ready as it is a go, go, go. All right, well, sets are coming in and we're getting ready. 25 minutes of action. Red flag is in the sky, Tom. And there are the boys who are going to battle it out as we have Cash and Malo getting ready to go into action. Grand final coming at you. Yeah, we've got an absolute heater of a heat here. This is going to be exciting to watch. So make sure you get involved in the comments and uh, stay with us for this absolute banger of a heat. We've got sets racking up out the back by the looks of it. The ocean is still very much alive out there. And it's going to be interesting to see what we see, Joe. He's going to take what strategy here, whether they're going to go straight in hard. Look at that set. Yeah, I mean, so we've seen the wind has dropped off a little bit. We saw it there with Elena and Muna. But I'm going to say that last set that went unridden was one of the big one, biggest ones we've seen so far. Yeah, it was indeed. It was indeed. So it's still the power is there. It's in the ocean. Um, and look at this. The, uh, just to welcome these boys to the game. One of the biggest sets of the afternoon as well. Another another absolute steamer coming through. We've got Cash tacking on his first wave. Yeah, so still red flag is in the sky, so we're not green yet. So he's just having a little look-see. Unfortunately, this set is going to go and not be able to get them. And let us get into action as we are coming up on less than two minutes, Tom. Oh, my goodness. I can see a lot of people on the stream. So let's get this going. Who's it going to be? Malo or cash? Cash or Malo? Well, Send it up there. What do you reckon? A lot of people with their cash on cash, as they say um, so far. But, yeah, let's get it going. Who's, who's against who? I mean, who thinks who's going to have this right now? I mean, it's a battle of styles. Both of these guys have it in them. Both of these guys are more than good enough to make this count. No wave is going to go wasted, I would say. Um, and uh, it really is just a question of what waves get delivered. We've got the uh, Thomas Goodrich thinking Mallow's got it. I mean, there's a lot of people that, you know, there's a 50-50 there's, there's a split here. It right? is a 50 split here. Willow sending out the vibes. All right, go Mallow, go Cash. There got Willow. Mullow. And now, less than a minute, yellow flag is in the sky. Hold on to your hats. As I tell you what, it's pretty much, pretty much even. I can see Ale La France, Ale La Bleu. Maui crew is shouting out cash. Who is going to take the win? We're going to find out. Elena, the champion. Who is it going to be on the men's side? There's the horn. We are on. We are into this. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Malo's landed. Probably one of the best airs of the event so true, far. True, true. So it's... You know, he's got the game, he's got the skills, he's going to be all about tactics, I think, from here. He's going to get that first chalk. Oh, I don't know, mate, but yeah, looking to see who is going to get it, because there's not a set out there so far, starting to get it going. Noah Angulo, cash is taking all the money, all right, I can see, put your money where your mouth is, mate, and we will see, we should have got a little betting going on here, mate. Well, you know, that's something for future streams, you yeah. know, a little side hustle on the go. But here we go. Look, we've got a set looking out the back for, look, on our left here, Joe. There's one of the bigger sets coming through. Who's got priority? Cash with priority, but 
Mallow, Not Mallow on in the first wave. Mallow is going to be dropping in, and it's looking like a nice one. So he's going to be firing off the first bullet. You can see him out there on the droid four meter. Here we go. Bang! Look how deep he is. First turn, as critical as they come. Boom! Boom. See, and that's what I'm saying yeah. about foil uh, above and beyond the lip. Nice, let it almost reach it out yeah. back. Roundhouse there. Oh, a little skaty snap as well. Watch out, Cash coming in the back. He's pumping to get past. He doesn't want to go down this Ooh. section. Man, oh, he gets through it. And Cash is going to be exiting at the top. Both of these boys. Malo cutting back all the way and Cash right in the pocket as well, Tom. Mate, I mean, this is as good as wing for a wave riding gets, guys. Look at that. He's just putting his tail out as if it's nothing. And I can say if you've ever tried to do that, you will know how hard it is. But just getting snagged on that roundhouse. But the, both these boys putting in literally the most legit wave riding that you can see. Big up Willow. He's on. We've got a lot of names here on the uh, on the live stream coming in. And We're some numbers are starting to come up, and they're looking like big ones. Manos wave a little bit more surfy. We saw Cash a little bit more technical. Who is going to get the upper hand? Who's going to throw the first punch for me? of the first endeavor? Close. Look at this. For oh. me, for me, it doesn't get too much better than this. Malo absolutely killed that. Yeah, I mean, um, look at that. Look off at that. The top. Oh, you can just see beautiful. the see the foil in the lip. Um, he just rode that perfectly, like breaching the foil on the turn, both bottom and top turns, sliding the lip out. But and he. You know, another important thing for me here is he completed the wave. You know, he, he maybe he didn't he didn't um, he didn't didn't do any airs, but yeah. at the same time, you know, he he did complete the wave. But look at that, he is deep. He was deep, that is to say the least. And scores are in. Cash nine point zero seven, Manor eight point six seven. So Cash had the better wave of the two by the looks of it from the judges. And it is very close. Harsh deals. I don't know. Yeah, it I, was very, I mean, very close in between them. But again, the judges have a better view than we do here. And, you know, obviously, we maybe missed something there. Waiting to see the scores maybe yeah. come up. But still, as it stands, Cash is in the lead. Yeah, I don't know how personal opinions we're allowed to drop here, Joe. But that was uh, two of the best waves that we, uh, that we have seen so far. And a very exciting way to start this heat. Yeah, but big final. Incredible riding from both of them. But, yeah, the way Mallow just flows off the top. And he's, Mallow's already gone into that second wave. So, oh, look at that. Just breaching again, letting that fall out. He has such a nice style, Tom. Yeah, it really does. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can just see the excitement of both of them on the water right now. And uh, really, really close. Cool there. I mean, to be fair... Those scores are so close anyway that it's anyone's game, you know. All right, so looking to see as it looks like Mano going for a second wave. Let's have a look and see what everybody's saying down there. All right, Chris. Yeah, we are of a similar, similar skill here. And waiting. Uh, Cash is just sat down out the back going around. Looks like he was adjusting some of his foot straps. But early days, let's not forget, we have 25 minutes of action. So it's not going to be about one wave. It's going to be about a lot of waves. Shout out to Sarah Scheel, Liam's mum. Yep, caught up with Liam yesterday on the live stream and also uh, met your husband as well. Big up for supporting Liam yeah. through his uh, the beginning of his wing shreddery career. No doubt it's going to be a good one. Performed really well out there. And, uh, yeah, it would be great to uh, link up back in the UK sometime, do some big wave action trips or something. But, uh, yeah, it's good to see everyone getting involved on the live stream. We have indeed been speaking constantly for over seven hours now. And uh, it's only getting more exciting, Joe. It is, and that's only today, mate. I think <laughs> we, we've done four days of 14-hour shifts, but enjoying every second of it. And I can't wait to get some action out there for us, too, as, as soon as this heat is over. We are going to be crowning our finalists, and there's still light, Tom, and I think it's going to be time to grab that cold one and get out onto the water. 19 minutes to go. Here we have Malo. 
keeping himself busy. It looks like Cash is going to be waiting for the bigger sets. Cash now obviously having priority. He's just waiting out there. We've seen it once and we will see it again. Wave selection in Punta Preta can be everything. Yeah, a lot of support for Cash out out here on the comments. But, yeah, there's... Uh, there's anger. Yeah, there's some interesting feedback on that first wave score. To be fair, we had the better drone shot of, of the first wave. So it's difficult to tell. We may have missed something. But, I mean... It couldn't have been much better ridden, in my opinion. Without an air, without some different um, variety of, uh, of move, it couldn't have been better ridden. I mean, he was critical in every way, and uh, yeah, super. And he, and he finished the wave, too, which was, uh, which was nice to see. But it is firing. We've got more sets wrapping up, coming in now. Here we go. Oh, nice, another outside roller. Malo here coming out. And he's taking a is, look. He is taking a look. Because obviously Cash has priority, so he's going to have to kind of skim on the inside if he wants to have a, a problem there. And no, nope, he's going to go off there. And yeah, absolutely. Loving the board under the lip. And Malo just going so critical. Look, look, here he? we you go. Look, see. He's wrapped round. He's seen that Cash hasn't gone on the wave behind so Matt, he's wrapped right round on taking the next wave which has a bit of a bigger shoulder be interesting to see what he's going for oh, but he's deep. locked in deep again another oh. absolute heater oh. he's dug he's dug on the bottom turn oh my goodness this could be crucial that this was could a bad. be a crucial mistake for Mallo yes. because early in the heat if you're going to do it it's now but he has fallen off on the first wave of the set, meaning he's going to get a lot of other ones on his head. Taking a look at the wing to make sure it is still in one piece. Duck diving, why not? Yeah, he's managed to float through that one. Okay. Looks like he's managed to hold on to it. His wing's still with him. Uh, and now there is a lull. He might be okay. But look at this. Bomb just pow! Look how he's pressing down. It was driving it around, but then just caught the wing. Load, fully like. went over the falls there, and that was what I was saying about mass length. That was he was so critical and so leant over on that bottom turn that actually he his wing breached. You know, he, maybe he needs a one ten. And information just coming in. One of the beauties of having the stream and the. Uh, judges can review the wave, so there has been a revision, and Malogino's wave, the first one was a bit better than Cash's, so 8.67 there for that first wave of Malo's, and an 8.63 for the one from Cash, so good judging there from our team, rectifying, and you know, that is what it's about, that's why you got the technologies, and great to see them, you know, marking the difference, because I think everybody was on the same thought path there. So there was a video review of that first wave exchange, and that is good to see, I guess, like in a lot of sports now, and uh, look, Mano's back out, he's recovered. He is recovered. He's back out, he's recovered, but as we see it in a lot of sports now, football, they've be brought in the, you know, video review of goals, you know, video review in tennis, it all comes back in. It's nice to see that we've got the technology to video review these calls now. Judges have obviously rewatched those waves w yep. back to back and reviewed the scores, I mean... So close, and uh, obviously a final, they want it to be as refined as possible. So at the moment, Malo in the lead, 8.67, 7.47, 16.14, 8.63 there for Casper Zola, and it looks like both of them are in position, Tom. Yeah, I mean, they're both back out, and what a recovery from Malo. He must be pretty... <laughs> Buzzing after oh, that over, over the falls, the falls. over uh, he, the falls, fully completely. over the falls, yeah, like falling off in the pit. Yeah, it was the VAR. That's it, Rafa. We got VAR even in wing falling these days, and uh, it looks like they've gone back at it and uh, just had another look. Yeah, and there you go. Yes, cookies restored your face. Glad that those beach high spice cars are ridiculous. Yes, they are, Bows. These boys <laughs> are leaving Mola. nothing in the tank as we continue on. 14 and a half minutes to go. It looks like Hash has seen something as we continue. Grand finale here for the GWA Wing 4 World Cup Cape Verde Punta Preta. Yeah, as we've seen, I mean... 
the score revision hasn't done a huge amount. I mean, it, like I say, they were they were close scores anyway. So it is still anyone's game. It hasn't it hasn't uh, changed it too much. But look at this, cash straight in. Oh, beauty here! So deep. Look at Tucking that. Tucking high high line, setting up for this next move. I love how he just crouches down and nice off the top. Looking like maybe he's going to be end up for an air. Does the 360 perfectly landed right in the pocket. Right on the just, rocks. Yeah, and just at the end of that one, he's still, he knows how important this is. But he's got to be careful because if he gets clipped here on the inside, he is going to have oh, oh. a little bit of a nose tap <laughs> there. Hang five style. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. I mean, this is what we're seeing from him is difference yes. different riding exactly. different moves Innovation. and different ways to do things and i think that is you know that's super important to also reward as well um and look at that how deep he is there i mean it doesn't get any deeper no awesome. well and survive <laughs> yeah and you can see just getting out i love that little bit of you know a hang five that he came on the you know on the bottom section of this wave Beautiful 360, lands it on the plane, not even missing a beat. Now Malor on another one as he makes his way down. Both of these guys are just trading blows left, right, and center. And this is the battle that we wanted to see, Tom. Here we go. Wing, wing control coming in again there. Nice little air section through the inside and another long wave for Malor. I mean, it's going to... I mean, yeah, like you say, you would not want to be a judge. It's not something that is easy to do here. And these waves are just firing off. Yeah, it's back-to-back -back trading. trading. Uh. Oh, yeah, mid-face air there. Not quite on the lip. I mean, the one we saw where we got that 10.0 really was off the lip and then back yeah. on. But, but yeah. one of the things we are seeing, and there's two different styles in between Cash and him, and then we can see... Elena and Muna are two finalists, and a congratulations to Elena taking the number one spot here. Muna White there on the left-hand side, second. And, you know, amazing to see where these girls are taking the sport and talk about commitment. Podiums on two sports in two days. I mean, can't ask for more better than that, can you? No, you can't. That is about as good as it gets, mate, as good as it gets. All right, cash, 7.33. 15.96 all the way along, 16.14 total. Now it is getting crunchy. Only 0 0.18 of a point separates these two athletes. Yeah, I mean, there's some unbelievable riding, and we expected nothing less. These two, by far, the best riders out there today, proving themselves in these conditions. And, uh, I mean, the conditions just don't get any better. Yeah, and actually seeing barrels there, throw a comment out. Will we be seeing barrels soon? That is the question. I mean, we saw Cash let go of his wing and try and to drop in. into it and tuck it in. But will we see the barrels? We will soon find out. And there we can see the ladies just getting ready as after this we are going to be doing our podiums. So we will be seeing everybody out here as there is. The, you can see the stoke on the face there of Elena. But let's go back into the action. Malo hunting again. I've seen riders like Wesley Bristow and uh, Clement Rosero in barrels before, but they, they really are. You do need a big wave. You need a certain type yeah, of wave. True. And it needs to be windy so you can have a small wing. And, you know, to get a barrel with a wing oh. is uh, it's no easy feat. It's a challenge. But challenge it's it, a challenge boys it? accept girls accept come on bring on the barrels yeah it's hard to say i think we're, we're more likely to see the air game develop before we see the barrel game develop. i agree but uh, i agree I mean, let's see but let's i mean see it's incredible to see how far it's gone like we're seeing the turns here where they're breaching the foil you know <laughs> in the turns and doing pure big cutbacks look at this way for mano this is looking like it's going to form up this nicely absolute bomb Another nice wave. I mean, what conditions we've got today, guys. Couldn't be better. He's not liking the look of it, though. No, I, w I wonder why. I wonder why. And Cash getting the one behind and moving on. Here we go. He's dropped into this. Committed. Got that 
Arcing bottom turn. Double oh, hand. Oh. Yeah, can you hold oh. on to it? Huge. Okay, so these are the sorts of things where... Pandora's box is open. Yeah, these are the sorts of scenarios where... What on earth was that? <laughs> I mean, pretty much just grinding the top of the wave there. Cash innovation again. Obviously, you know, at the very beginning of the wave, so it's not going to be a huge score, I presume, because it was pretty much on the first turn, so it would only be, let's say, a one-hit wonder. But look at that. Breaches and grinds the top of the wave. We are seeing foil developing as a sport right on your screen now. This is so cool, uh, Tom. Yeah, this is amazing. But let's hope he didn't go too far inside because looking to the left, there is, a free, there is a set about to pump. There's only eight minutes left on the clock. Can he get back out? It looks like he's deep on oh. the rocks now. This is not what Cash wanted. This is not what any of us wanted, but it's the roll of the dice right here yeah. on the inside. I mean, look how punishing this is. He is right there as well. He hasn't got his board either, so his board is on the rocks. He's and gonna here we have see to Malo dropping in again. What's he got? All right, going two hands. Maybe he saw Cash, though, no, deciding against it. Let's see if Cash can get out there in time, Tom. You know, we, seen, we saw Cash earlier in between heats going a massive... And I, like with the double-handed uh, aerial maneuvers, and I think that's what he wanted. But I just don't think he got what, you know, I don't think the wave delivered what he wanted. He has got enough time to get back out. If they've got his board, he's okay. He looks fine to me. And they managed to recover his wing, and he manages to negotiate the shore break. He could and just about get another another wave. There you can see Nia running down. All right, so Cash is going to be going back out on the bottom. Is he going to have enough time to get back out? We've got about six minutes on the ticker. We will find out. I mean, we know it can happen until the end. Is that an innovation score? Chris, I'm waiting for the numbers to come in, mate. I don't think so because it would be called a one-hit wonder. It, it was obviously going to be expression on the waves the same as if they were doing, you know, new moves on the waves. This ain't like freestyle. But, yeah, he is. I reckon he's going to be getting a good score. If he can combine that with a few more turns, we could be seeing some of the best out there. Smile on his face, though, Tom. Smile on his face. That leash looks like it's been stretched out. <laughs> he's uh, decided to go out leashless, which to get out is a tough call because if he separates from that board... At any point, um, it's gone, obviously. So he's going full force to get back out there. How long's left on the clock? I can't see the timer, but I reckon it's about seven minutes. Um, he's got time. He just needs to abide his time. Doesn't looks like there's a little crack in the swell, so he can get out there. All right, so just under six minutes, Tom, out there. So 8.63, 7.33 there for Cash. It was a 5.93 for that score of that last wave of that innovation. Malo, 16.14. He is in the lead. There you can see Cash, the Armstrong rider from Maui, is trying to get back into the break with five and a half minutes on the clock. Let's not forget, if you can get on a wave in the final second, it will count, and you only the top two waves are the ones that happen and give you the scores. So anything is possible, and we know it's not over until the buzzer, but now, sticky situation here for the Hawaiian. Yeah, we've got Bulls Muller kicking in about the uh, wing-powered the wing powered airs and how we can incorporate them on the tour and we've been talking about it if you've been tuned in for the afternoon we've actually been talking about this a lot yeah and it is definitely a topic that you know is is going to be discussed for sure and something that you know I, I think both myself and joe agree is not something that needs to be ruled out in terms of progression you know it's definitely a new sport something we want to see develop in a in a in a way and something that could open doors to yeah, we don't. Things. We've been saying it, Tom. Like you know, like you're mentioning, don't clip the wings. It's too new. Don't clip the wings. Let the athletes explore. Let's not box them in. And you know, we're already seeing here 
from last year athletes going we're not sure if it's possible to ride these waves to now you know airing off them spinning off them doing all of these new moves and surfing like no tomorrow and now we can see who is it going to be Manor is dropping in on yet another big open roller from oh, all the way in the back oh, look at that beauty i just love that oh doesn't get any more critical than that joe he broke loose on the rise towards the lip in deep he's read that perfectly for the roundhouse back into the phone bounce as well i mean look at this for me his ability to read the wave really stands out and uh yeah he went for that first power move straight off the bat yeah and Let's i have a look at the replay you can see there just like you, you know you mentioning just going very critical and i mean that is about as pocketed as he can almost clipping the wing with the lip and yet here we have to looks like uh nicholas starting to um come on over here on the stream open to all opinions mate but i don't think anybody can take anything from either of these riders great to see them pushing it but at the mal at the moment malo definitely having the more upper complete hand He's cash going for new moves but we've seen cash get 10 point rides here it ain't over until the buzzer so hold on to your hats look at this how is he on another wave again already it's like got duracells in yeah, I mean, you know, they don't call him the Energizer Bunny for no reason. And here we go, Malo. I mean, there is only 0 0.16 of a point in between these two, but it was 6, 8 of a point in between these boys. It is about as close as it gets. Again, there is another air. Malo just trying to get the uh, couple more scores in because he knows Cash is back out there. And if anybody can take it at the final moment, that's Cash Bazzola. <coughs> Willow just asked the same question that I asked you earlier, Joe. If you let go of the wing and made the barrel, would it count? And uh, our consensus, Willow, was probably not, mate. So if you come out of the barrel without the wing, you technically haven't completed a wing foil barrel. Yeah, I mean, like we say, Willow, there's a lot of new things going on that there probably aren't rules for it. So as so many new things are appearing, those are things that are going to be going to the committee, taking some of those notes down. But, you know, using logic... This is wing foiling. So if you're letting go of the wings or letting go of that part and you continue on, obviously it's not going to be as well executed. Here so we'll be deducting points. But execution, he's done it again, going for the barrel. Oh, and he's just let go and surfing. This is just what we talked about. He's just gone for it. Oh, that is oh. brilliant. <laughs> Can he catch it up again? So the answer is going to be there when we see the score this way. Oh, I mean, he's, he's going to get some interference penalty probably, though. Oh, absolutely. Oh, it's so no. cool to see. Sky is the limit, Tom. Sky is the limit. Hey, one thing is certain here. Cash is pushing innovation. And that is just, that's what. That's what the sports needs. That's what the sports it, what needs. needs. Needs minds like that. If you think outside the box. Just like that, Willow, you've been answered. And he's still riding, he's still bro. still riding. And he's look at that. <laughs> Just all the way along. Cash Mazzola, ladies and gentlemen. That boy deserves a round of applause because he he's not giving up. All the way down. He's had two <laughs> waves all the way to the inside. I'll tell you what, if he somehow pumped back to his wing... That would be a question. I like yeah. it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Just look if at it. If the wing blew down the line and then he got back to it, which is more than possible. Yeah, but um, no. Brilliant. There you can see. But Malo, once again, getting another good wave. So we are coming into the final minute of this grand final. And it is looking like... Wow. As it stands, it is looking like Malo has the upper hand, but we will see the official results come in. But, I mean, talk about perfect timing. Willow, your question has been answered because I'm seeing scores that are quite low, so I'm presuming that that is not quite there. But, committee, if you're listening, um, that has to be had a look at. And Malo going down. Malo about the to get zone. just the last minute, destroying in the last two minutes of the set. Ah, there we go. Right, let's go to highlights from that last heat.
right, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, Malo Genole, the winner of the Men's World Cup here, the Cape Verdean GWA Wing for World Cup. Malo Genole and Elena Moreno, your top two out here, and we can see them getting ready as we are going to have a few words. Incredible, these two athletes, what they have done as we are already seen some of the best surfing and some of the best waves in the history of wing foiling and there we go we are going to go down with our beach commentator tom court as he is with our new champions okay guys we are here live with the two winners of the event for one of the best days of wing foiling ever Elena, how does it feel to be on that top spot? It's a pleasure no, to be here and the condition we have had is it's incredible how, how everyone is, uh, is involved no, to, to push and, and helping. So uh, it's, it's a pleasure to be here with this condition and it's good that the, that the government and the, the people uh, work for, for sport events. So I think it's, it's important that also. And how are you feeling after such a long day? <laughs> I'm pretty excited. I have to assimilate many, many things, no? Because it's a lot of feelings in in a short, short period of time. So yes, uh, having fun and hanging around with with all the people that they are, they are incredible. Amazing. And after such an epic showdown, how are you feeling to come out on top? Well, it's a bit a uh, dream coming true since last year, where I couldn't compete because I had school exams. I was like this. Uh, so frustrated and then this year I came waves were even more firing and cherry on the top I win so man I'm over the moon. <laughs> and how good is it to be wing foiling in conditions like that with one of your best mates and idols in the sport? Uh, like for real it was like a dream coming true like uh, surfing waves like this. I mean I was watching this wave when I was young surfing, windsurfing and everything I always said like fuck it looks so good and now we have like Probably one of the best punta preta possible, so it feels like a dream coming true. <laughs> so the stoke is high here on the beach. That's it from me, Tom Court. We've been live in the box all day, and now we're going to go to the podium. Back to you in the studio, guys. Thank you very much, Tom, and congratulations to our new champions, Mano Genole and Elena Moreno, the king and the queen of Punta Preta. I'm Josie Ashla. It has been an absolute pleasure being here on the stream with Tom Court and showing you guys and girls back at home what Punta Preta is made of. Thank you very much for getting involved with all the comments. Send us the feedback. Send us what you think. I know we've loved it. I hope you guys and girls have loved it. Until next time, we will see you. What are there? We are going to go home now.
Resort Group believes in Cabo Verde and may you be very successful because success of the Resort Group is also the success of Cabo Verde. Thank you very much.